Coney Island is a New York City seaside destination that is famous for being the birthplace of the hot dog and has amusement parks fronting the Atlantic Ocean. Currently, Coney Island has two amusement parks, Luna Park and Dino's Wonder Wheel Amusement Park, as well as several rides that are not incorporated into either theme park. The amusement park operates seasonally between Easter and Halloween, while the beach and boardwalk are open all year round, and Nathan's Famous Hot Dogs and the New York Aquarium are open almost every day of the year. Join us for a walking tour of this historic landmark. Three rides at Coney Island are protected as designated New York City landmarks and are listed in the National Register of Historic Places. These three rides are the Cyclone Roller Coaster, Wonder Wheel, and the Parachute Jump. Three exits onto the boardwalk. It exits onto the boardwalk. It's an open park. How do you like Coney Island?
The New York Aquarium is the oldest continually operating aquarium in the United States, having opened in Castle Garden in Battery Park, Manhattan in 1996. Since 1957, it has been located on the boardwalk in Coney Island and occupies 14 acres and boasts 266 species of aquatic wildlife. Thank you very much, sir. Follow me, babe.
hands up, everybody hands up, 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 up. Hands up, hands up, hands up, hands up, hands up. One of New York City's most exciting resources is the ability to transport people to new worlds, all for the price of a subway ride. Brighton Beach in Brooklyn is one of those worlds and a summer destination for New York City residents due to its beaches along the Atlantic Ocean and its proximity to the amusement parks in Coney Island. Join us as we walk along the Reigelman Boardwalk from Coney Island to Brighton Beach, which takes around 30 minutes.
Brighton Beach is also known as Little Odessa, a reference to the Ukrainian city from which many of its residents have come from during the late 1980s, after the collapse of the Soviet Union and thousands of Soviet citizens immigrated to the United States. Volna and Tatiana are popular boardwalk restaurants whose outdoor seating fills up at lunchtime during summer. Beverage favorites here include Nemirov for vodka and Baltica for beer. Here, it's normal to drink vodka in the morning. You can also order kachapuri, Georgian flatbread filled with cheese. If you're in a rush, you can pick up sandwiches at the Volna on the go station next to the outdoor dining area. But it's worth having a seat to enjoy the casual atmosphere, ocean views, and crawfish, which Volna imports directly from Russian waters. Tatiana Restaurant and Nightclub has a reputation for providing one of New York City's most authentically Russian experiences. If you make a reservation for dinner, take note, it's a night of dinner and dancing, not just a table. You can expect to be served beef stroganoff and chicken Kiev buffet style throughout the night up to 3 a.m. Now we are on the way to Brighton Bazaar, which is along Brighton Beach Avenue, two blocks away from the boardwalk. That's us. Brighton Beach Avenue is the center of commerce for this neighborhood beneath the rumble of the elevated subway lines. It is known for its tight-knit Russian-speaking community with colorful shops, food emporiums, and restaurants. We're on the way to Brighton Market, which is uh, on Brighton Avenue. Thank you. 
شد توزن و دو Oh yeah. That's one place I'm going. Brighton Bazaar is a massive Russian-owned supermarket that contains everything Russian from an impressive spread of hot and cold Russian delicacies including yeah, pickled Brighton watermelon, baked apples, Bazaar. pickled garlic, roast sturgeon, chabareki, soups and so much more. The supermarket also features a bakery, deli, meat counter, fresh produce section, dried fish, and packaged Russian specialties like caviar. We made sure to get some palmeni Russian dumplings and harcho, which is an Uzbekistan lamb soup. Oh, we can't wait to show you this later.
Sunflower seeds. Get some for Brian. Got some interesting food and chabareki from that Brighton market, but the chabareki is not as good as it is in St. Petersburg, Brinza. But it's not bad. For a dollar fifty, can't go wrong. We were quite impressed with the Russian grocery. It had quite a few items there, so we picked up some pelmeni and some sweets, but we also got chabareki and we got some lamb soup. But the chabareki isn't as good as it is in St. Petersburg at this place called Frinza. But for $1.50, it's still quite a treat.
Now we're having the lamb soup, just chilling on the Brighton Beach boardwalk. How's that lamb soup? Brings my childhood memory back, so nice. Super enjoyable. And that soup just costs $2.50. But The lamb soup was so good, I had to go back to get another serving, the bigger version. Very yummy. I will give you what I want you to finish. Because you will say that you fall. Oksana cooked up the palmeni for our dinner, which was pretty damn good. Nathan's Famous is an American chain of fast food restaurants specializing in hot dogs, which humbly started as a hot dog stand in 1916 
by Nathan Handworker and his wife, Ida, who immigrated from Poland and started the business with their life savings of $300. Their success was attributed to selling five-cent all-beef hot dogs made with a secret blend of spices from Ida's grandmother. By 1920, when the subway was extended out to Coney Island, Nathan's Famous was selling 75,000 hot dogs each weekend. Today, we are visiting the original Nathan's restaurant, which stands at the corner of Surf and Stillwell Avenues in the Coney Island neighborhood of Brooklyn in New York City. The Handworker family sold all their 20 branches to Equicorp in 1986 for $19 million. Currently, Nathan's has a market capitalization of $260 million, and there are more than 1,500 stores in 18 countries across the globe. Our favorites at Nathan's include their bacon cheese dog, bacon chili dog, and shrimp and fries. For refreshments, try their orangeade, lemonade, or a pint of their Coney Island lager. institution no, well known for their hot dogs but aside from that they also have excellent shrimp and chips and clams and we're here to also have their ice cold draft Coney Island beer and their Nathan's orange ale so cheers guys my favorite hot dog at Nathan's is their bacon cheese dog look how much bacon they put oh I love their their cheese sauce too A lot to chew, but I can tell you one thing God made you want to eat this. Mm. We had quite an enjoyable meal here at Nathan's. Our next plan is to go to Brighton Beach, check out the Russian community there, and possibly a few restaurants. And then after that, we're going to check out Luna Park, which is the amusement park here at Coney Island, which we're hearing screams of the roller coaster back there in the background. See you in a bit. Ripley's Believe It or Not opened on 42nd Street Times Square, New York in July 2007. This is the largest Ripley's auditorium in the world, housing over 1,000 authentic artifacts and interactive exhibits in a massive 1,600 square meters venue. 